Hello and welcome to another tutorial with Roaring Records. Today we are going to start talking about some fun things to do with live audio. Um, my class is currently doing a remix project, so we're trying a few different things with vocal only performances of songs. So hey, we're gonna dive in and try to try to mess around with some live audio. So the first thing is have a live audio. Oop, not that one. A live audio performance to use so right now I'm just dragging and dropping in a file of Bruno Mars song grenade and it's just that easy drag it and drop it and there you go so here it is easy come easy go that's just how you live oh take 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 it all but you never give cool so that's just the basic uh, Bruno Mars grenade track. So the next thing we want to do is figure out how to line up the Bruno Mars track with a tempo and get it as exact as possible. Um, you can certainly search the internet to see what the tempo of the song was. That should get you close. But I like to use a tool called all8.com. So I'm going to start our track playing and then I'm going to show you what I do with all8.com. Easy come, easy go. That's just how so you live. Oh, take, 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 take it all, but you all never give. Should've Tap known you was so trouble from the here. first kiss. Had your eyes bar, wide open. Why were they open? Ooh. Gave you all I had and you tossed it in the trash. You tossed it in the trash. You did. Ooh. To give me all your love is all. Okay. So, as you just saw, what we gained is that this song should be roughly 109, 110, somewhere in that range. So, I'm just going to duck the tempo down to 110. And now, let's see if that lines up. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, take, take, take it all. But hmm, that can't quite be right. What is the problem there? Well, we haven't actually lined up the beats of the song with the beginning of a measure. So what I'm going to do is put my playhead right here at measure three. I'm kind of zoom in to give myself a little more uh, visuals room. And I'm going to start this first word of the track right there with measure three. So now I'll zoom back out. And... Here we go, starting at measure two. This should line up a lot closer. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, take, take, take it all, but you never give. Should have known you was trouble from the first kiss. Had your eyes wide. Now, you probably noticed that the tempo began to creep right there. So it's not exactly right. Let's try 109. And again, we may have to adjust the beginning of measure three to make sure it's right. Let's see that changed just a little bit. Here we go. Let's see if this is right at 109. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, take, take, take it all, but you never give. Should have known you was trouble from the first kiss. Had your eyes wide open. Why were they open? Ooh. Gave you all I had in your I don't think it's going to get any closer than that. So what you have right there is the ability to track um, exactly where the uh, beat is at any point in time. So we've got that locked in. Um, if you want it not to move at all, you can actually right click it and go to this SMPTE lock and boom, it puts this little lock sign on it. Now if you try to drag it, it won't go anywhere. So it'll stay uh, within the beat that it's been given. So now, what if we want to change the tempo of this Bruno Mars part right here in order to say this song's a little faster for the remix we want to create? Well, you can't just extend the speed because you notice that's actually moving the track around. But what we can do is use this handy dandy tool called the flex tool. 
and right here it is. It looks like a little DNA strand. Once you turn that on, you need to turn it on for this individual track. It's going to analyze it and stretch it out. It's done a lot of things, but there are several different um, flex tools. The most obvious one you would think to go to for changing the speed of the song would be flex time speed. So let me show you what happens when you do that. So there's flex time speed. Let's speed it up. Yikes, that doesn't seem like it's actually very effective. So let's put that back down at uh, 109. So much to our disappointment, we don't necessarily want uh, our boy Bruno to sound like, um, I'm actually going to unlock this hold right there. Um, we don't want our boy Bruno to sound like he's a chipmunk. So let's try a different one. Let's try flex pitch instead. Now we've got flex pitch selected and we're gonna once again bump up the tempo. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, take, take, take it all, but you never give. Should have known. Now it's still in beat. And we can go faster or we could have gone slower. Here's like a 90. Easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh, take, take, take it all, but you never give. Should have known. So there we've got a slower version. So we can actually change the pitch up or down or change the tempo up or down without affecting the pitch. This is a pretty cool uh, use of the flex tool. I highly, 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 highly recommend that when you're doing this, that you make sure you've got the tempo set accurately to begin with. It's very important for maintaining the uh, integrity of the audio clip if you're going to be adding music to it. Hope you enjoyed the use of the flex tool.